Oh, Blaster, we're at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. And check this out. Let's read the sign. Ooh, it's from Indonesia, and it's called a kimpool, or a gong. And you know what you get to do with gongs. Whoa, I love that sound. But take a look, that's not the only instrument here. Here's a balafon. This is a type of xylophone. Listen. Nice. This is from West Africa, and this over here is from the Andes. It's a beautiful harp with lots of colors. Blue, red, yellow. Hey, it kind of matches us. Listen to this, Blaster. Nice. Now, you probably don't have a gong or a xylophone or a harp in your house, but I guarantee you, you have something in your house that can make music. Check it out. Oh, blaster. Now, wait a minute. I don't see anything here that can make music. I think we need a little help. Oh, hey, it's the museum educator, Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, it's nice to be here. Now, I still don't see any musical instruments in front of us. Yeah, I don't know. Blaster, could you help us out? I think so. Hey. Now, these don't look like musical instruments to me. I think we can be creative and create something new out of some of these materials. I wonder, maybe with just this water bottle, we can fill it with beads to make a shaker. So we can shake it. I like that sound. Me too. What else could we do? Let's see. We've got this rubber band and a ruler here. This is kind of a sound. That works, I like it. What if we carefully stretch our rubber band around the stick? Hmm. Ooh. That's fun. I dig it. <laughs> Some different ways we can use rubber bands to make sound too. But I wonder now, can we combine everything we've made together and make something totally unique? Oh. Got a shaker and a string instrument. Nice. <laughs> and this is all stuff you could find around your house. Now, do you have a name for the new instrument you just made? Hmm, should we call it our blaster bottle? Oh, <laughs> blaster! They made an instrument just for you, the blaster bottle. And if you make your own blaster bottle at home, make sure you send it to us on babablast.com. This is awesome. Now, I also see something over here that blaster blasted. What is this? Let's see, I think we can use this to experiment how science can bring music to life. Ooh, Let's yeah. start with um, exploring some vibrations. Okay. So, on the count of three, can we all clap together? Yes. One, two, three, clap. Nice, did you hear that? I did. So what happens between clapping with our hands and our ears? How do we hear that? What's happening? I don't know. Hmm. Let's hold on to that thought. Okay. I have another experiment. Let's try humming together this time. On the count of three, we'll all hum. One, two, three. Hmm. Ooh, beautiful. What's happening there? You might hear, feel a vibration, some sort of sensation here in your throat. That's because your vocal cords are um, shaking really quickly back and forth. We call that vibration. Cool. You can feel those vibrations if you hold or touch your fingers to your throat. Let's try humming all together again. One, two, three. Hmm. That? Yes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now we can hear our humming. We can feel our humming. I wonder if we can do something to see those, that humming. I would love to be able to see that, but I don't know how. Let's see. I wonder. Blaster gave us some nice sesame seeds, some plastic wrap, a little cup, and some rubber bands. So I think if we pinch a little bit of our sesame seeds. Oh, they're so <laughs> tiny. You could use something tiny at home like sesame seeds, salt, sand, rice, anything that you have a lot of that's very little, you can use. So let's see, got our sesame seeds. It's a little messy and that's okay. So let's try humming again close to our sesame seeds. One, two, three. Mm. They are moving like a, a little bit. It's like a superpower. <laughs> let's hum really close. One. Two, three. Hmm. Oh, you did it! <laughs> awesome.
awesome. <laughs> what do you think's happening when I hum by our sesame seeds? Well, I think the vibration is making its way onto mm -hmm. that plastic, and when the plastic moves, the sesame seeds move. Exactly. So the way that we're, we can feel our vibrations in our throat, and then we get to see our, uh, the sound waves vibrating on our plastic wrap too. Well, that makes perfect sense. Thanks for showing us the experiment and making the cool blast bottle blaster musical <laughs> instrument. So fun. <laughs> There's so much to explore here at the Musical Instrument Museum. Where should we go next? Let's go check out one of the biggest instruments we have in our class. Oh, sounds good. Here we go. Whoa, blaster. These are beautiful instruments, but are these one of the largest instruments in the entire world? Oh, I think I see it actually, Blaster. It was behind us. Check this out. Wow, this must be the octobase. Even if I stand really tall, it's twice the size of me. The strings are bigger. Everything is larger. Wow. Hey, Blaster, can you show us the octobase in action? This is so special, Blaster. Why? Because there are only two original octobases in the entire world, and we get to see and listen to one. This sound is very low. So low that some notes can just barely be heard by people. Let's listen for a bit. Hear the notes? Whoa, it was awesome to see the Octobase in action blaster. What's that? You want to see one of the smallest instruments in the whole world? Oh, I think you're right. Check this out. I want you to see this one called Little Lady. It's a harmonica. That's a mouth organ. And you play this by bringing your lips and blowing. Look how small it is. Blaster, I'm having a blast at the Musical Instrument Museum. With more than 7,500 instruments from more than 200 countries and territories, the Musical Instrument Museum, or MIM for short, showcases our world's rich diversity and many of its beautiful cultures. As the MIM says, music is the language of the soul. Do you agree, Blaster? <laughs> I thought so. And of course, the Musical Instrument Museum made part of their building its own musical instrument. Come on here. If you stand right here, you can hear an amplification. Do you hear that? Baba Blast! <laughs> nice! Oh, Blaster! This is called a taiko, and we're going to use the taiko to make some music. Blaster, give us a beat, would you? Now let's add the Kulintang, all the way from the Philippines. And now for our final instrument, let's add a little tambourine all the way from Europe. Hey look, this says mechanical music. Let's check it out. Wow, look how beautiful they are as well. I thought instruments required people to play, but everything you're looking at plays all by itself. And wow, look at this one. This is called the Apollonia. Look how big it is. It's a dance organ from 1926. Let's check it out in action. This is so cool, Blaster. 
It's like a whole bunch of instruments in one. Oh, look! I see an accordion. I see a drum. Oh, and a cymbal. Oh, I know this one, Blaster. That's a saxophone. What are those dark orange things, Blaster? Oh, a temple block. Nice. Wow, and there's so much more. But we're not finished yet. Look behind you. This is called the Mask Seller Mechanical Doll. And it is very intricate. It even has a face on the bottom of its shoe. And just like the other instruments in here, yep, it plays itself. Check it out. Okay, Blaster, let's be real quiet for this one. If you look closely, Blaster, you can see tiny movements on the faces. <gasps> there goes a tongue. Oh, look, and a moving mustache. So cool. Those two instruments were really unique. But I bet you've seen this instrument before. That's right, it's your classic violin. Except this violin doesn't require a human being to make sound and music. Let's check this one out. This is called the Violano Virtuoso. And it was designed by a Swedish immigrant named Henry Conrad Sandell. And it plays paper rolls similar to those used on a conventional player piano. This violin is super cool. And not just because it can play itself, but because all four strings can be played at once, allowing the violin to play four-part harmony. These were popular about 100 years ago. And back then, you would see them in cafes, bars, or my favorite blaster, ice cream parlors. What beautiful music, but let's keep going and exploring. Wow, look at all these people having a little dance. Nice. Oh, and hey, a beautiful bird cage. Oh, music box. I bet it makes music. Blaster, let's see this music box in action. On the bottom of the music box is a dial you must twist and turn to make the music box move and produce sound. Did you see the white gloves they were using, Blaster? Well, that's to keep this fragile instrument clean and in good condition. I love the sounds of birds, Blaster. They kind of sound like you. We've seen some incredible musical instruments and we're not finished yet. Subscribe to this channel because we have more with the MIM coming out very soon. See you next time.